Hey YouTube subscriber, family, friends, drone enthusiasts, anybody stopping by my channel, thanks for doing that by the way. Um, I have a quick little video here. Um, it's a video of the Skydio 2 drone. It's an American made drone and it flies um, AI autonomously. Uh, here I'm just out in the golf course and uh, visiting a brother of mine uh, out in the Midwest, his uh, immediate family or extended family I should say. and. Um, uh, sister that came in for that Sedona. We were kind of celebrating um, some liberties that we have um, coming out of the, the pandemic uh, with our 92 year old mother who's uh, in an assisted living facility out there and we're just you know really having like a little family get together there. Uh, one of my brothers couldn't make it. He's, he's down with his uh, young children. It happened to be uh, Father's Day weekend also. So without that all said, uh, we were just out there having some fun uh, on the golf course, uh, nothing too technical or anything like that. But I just wanted to showcase the abilities of the Skydio 2 drone. Um, it's doing all the flying autonomously. Uh, the only inputs that I put in are uh, where I want the shot to be from, from the front, the back, the sides of um, a bit tracking the human subject, my brother, or the golf cart, the vehicle, uh, which it recognizes all those. And uh, I have a ground-based camera just for just some different uh, viewpoints. Uh, they call it B-roll, just kind of mix it all up. It's not a long, continuous uh, video that you might see on some of the other Skydio 2 drone sites. This is just more like you know, breaking it up a little bit and kind of like, say, just showcasing its ability. Is it totally smooth? Um, when I manually uh, fly a drone with a controller, I can get the precise movements that I want. Um, and uh, and pull that off pretty smoothly with the experience that I have of flying them. But to watch the drone make all those autonomous decisions by itself um, is pretty remarkable uh, of how it keeps the subject in frame and uh, definitely a use, usable uh, footage. Um, as long as you break them up and you know where some wild movements because the drone moves really really fast from position to position you can kind of um, incorporate in, that into your post-production and put out a little interesting video. Uh, while we were there, um, we also went out uh, to dinner to a place called Duck City Bistro, and it's in Davenport, Iowa. There's a very charismatic, um, colorful um, executive chef there who's also the owner, and he comes out to the parties that are there, and he um, explains the dishes, the specials. Um, he gives a little culinary a description of the dish, uh, how it's cooked, what spices it's made with, and things like that. Very, very, very fun and entertaining. Um, and I show that in the video just to kind of break things up a little bit, make things a little bit more interesting. It's nothing special, but uh, I thought it might be fun to share. So, hey, uh, enjoy the bit that's coming up, and uh, I hope to have more content out soon. I'm just getting to the editing and, and uploading it, um, so I hope to have that all out soon. So you guys take care out there. Enjoy your 4th of July weekend, uh, 2021, and the summer that we're heading into. And uh, happy flying, happy droning for those guys that do that. Beef! It's what's for two. Yeah, you got two cameras. You got two cameras. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yep. Cool. So you got a ground angle and a aerial. Yep, and then I mix them together.
and get a fantastic smoked French onion, the smoked weird cheese. Feature salad tonight, light and refreshing. I mean, watermelon shepherd cheese salad with a balsamic arugula sauce. For dessert tonight, a fantastic salted caramel caramel soup, stuffed with rosy chocolate cheese. And last but not least, I've got peace the morning black Angus prime rich chocolate with an extra chilies on fried potatoes and a rosemary cross. Beast, it's what's for two. <laughs> now again, these are in addition to the regular menu. First, second, it's almost Father's Day. So even third, those are free. Now remember, mac and cheese, and cheese sauce with butter and, uh, and parmesan on top. The kids hot, the kids hot chicken we can do on all those things. We'll take it right to you, too.